Welcome back to the review and today we're going to take a look at the official making of a Big Trouble in a Little China. I just finished the official art of Big Trouble in China, so I wanted to do a double whammy and look at the other one because usually you have making of books and everything and art of books, but I was super surprised that there is a making of and an art of book of Big Trouble in China because I love that movie. Let me put this aside and show you. This is the official making of Big Trouble in China book. This is the back side. It's the same format and same size. If I bring these up here, you can see they are like that. The spine of both, backside, nice and compact. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's go through. You can see it's the same insert here, same design. And then we start with this. And of course, I love anything regarding production photos or anything behind the scenes about that movie because I'm just a massive fan. You can see here, here are the contents, lots to cover. John Carpenter, of course, the master who's done so many fantastic movies. That is super cool. It's a really great insight into the origins. The idea and content creation is really cool. You can see early pictures, sketches, production photos and notes. It's very cool. Love this. It's just such a cool character. I love that character. And it's really cool to see because I'm just so used to the movie, to the scenes because I'm watching this movie over and over. So to see something where it's actually not part of the movie, clearly that's what making of is and behind the scenes. It's just really cool to see and I hadn't seen that much of that movie in terms of behind the scenes. A clear view of the car, character posters and poses. I love this. We get a bit of a better view of the sets. I mean, that's mainly all you see is constantly laughing. Also, the commentary on John Carpenter movies, and usually when there is Kurt Russell involved, like in the thing, they're absolutely fantastic commentaries. You should absolutely listen to them. Here's the Pork Chop Express. Better look at Chinatown. Of course, as you watch the movie and if you live in San Francisco, you can see a couple of cheats in there in terms of where they're driving and where they are and when they turn into a street, they're suddenly somewhere else. But that's classic in terms of movies. Then we get into the characters. Fantastic game at the beginning with the bottle. I just love seeing this awesome scene when he runs away when the camera is so fixed on that jacket. But let's continue here. You can see oh, also a great fight again. I think the movie was way of its time in terms of the fighting, in terms of the wire work. <laughs> love these, these are great. Deleted scene. Of course, I want to see more. I want to know more about everything. That is also a fantastic fight scene in terms of the sound design and the music. Absolutely love the contrast and when they fight, when they stop and they continue. And then it gets absolutely bananas when the three storms show up. And I love this. This is usually when people kind of check out because then the movie turns into something totally different. Again, continuing here with the characters, levitation, just the way they did it. I love seeing all this stuff. Eddie Lee has a major crush on you. Uncle Chu, come on, so good. Margot Litzenberg, yes. I just love seeing all these. They really look like they're having such a good time making this movie. The Three Storms, of course. Come on, Mortal Kombat, let's do this. Oh yes, love seeing this, the classic. Spoiler, what happened to that character, but look at that. This is so great to see the different stages, how they have to apply it, and of course, it's somewhat cheesy in the movie, I know, I know, but it's so cool. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Mortal Kombat right there. Rain. You got Interior White Tiger, Lo Pan. Love that actor. Ah, oh, it's great to see that. Absolutely classic. Love this. Look at this. There's always so much work and such pain for the actors to sit in there. That's all cool to see the transformation. Then you can see inside of the interior production design. Extra characters, yes, look at that. Always super creepy. I remember watching this with my older son and everything was kind of funny until we hit that moment and kind of creeped him out. That was kind of weird. Look at that. So cool to see that. I love this. Talked in the other clip about a potential sequel that they want to film. I hope that this creature shows up as it's kind of ending the first movie. Love having a bit of a better view of that underworld. The Sewer Demon also showcased in the other book, but we get a bit of a better view of the size and how they built this. Look at that. So cool. As I said last time, a bit cheesy when it shows up and moves. You can tell it's kind of moving forward and kind of going back. It's not super elaborate, but it's so much fun. Love this character as well. We get a better view in this book in terms of the inner workings and the complexity of that model. It's very cool to see. So definitely a bit more to see in this book. Spoiler at the end here. You get the great arcade battle. It's a massive set. Again, lots of interesting wire work. Movie was way ahead of its time. Masters of Flight. You can see this here. Also a really cool moment here. Love this when he does that little thing with the fingers there. So good. 
Mansion of the Disloyal, so you can see a bit more there. Yes, absolutely. The soundtrack is fantastic. Highly recommend that you get this. I love this. I'm listening to this all the time. And then the book ends with the legacy and talking about the characters and what they thought about the movie in its years and how it has affected people in their careers. Then and afterward by Kurt Russell and his biography. Special thanks and credits and the same ending insert here like in the other book. That is the backside. And that is it for the official making of Big Trouble in Little China. Also by Tara Bennett and Paul Terry. Forward by John Carpenter. Afterward by Kurt Russell. Slightly different here. This is the other book. You can see here credits and that is the book here. So if you can find the books, I highly recommend both of them because they're great. And I should probably listen to the movie today as I'm working and then go through the books again and do another deep dive and read that again, because they're really, really cool. So if you're a fan of the movie, these are absolutely a must have, but especially the art of book, even if you're not a fan of the book, has really cool artwork in it. It's even just as that as a book, it's really cool to have, but that's it. That's my page through of the book. And then there's the other clip with the official art of, this is the official making of, that is that. There's a lot more to come. Actually, let me get them. I got a bunch of books here. The Disney monorail is gonna be neat. Craft notes for animators, I wanna go through this. You got, oh yes, Age of Resistance, sadly canceled after one season, but very cool book here. The Art of Frozen 2, The Art of Ralph Breaks the Internet, and of course these, and one that I haven't read yet, but I want to go through this one. This one is still wrapped, it's The Making of Alien. J.W. Rinsler does really, really cool making of books. It's still wrapped. This one I can't wait to open and actually read. It's going to take a while. This is a thicker book, a lot of material to read, but I can do a page so you can see what's inside the book, of course. So more to come in terms of gadgets. Oh, big stack of books you want to go through. Also, ugh, I was in a city recently and saw these. Absolutely cute. Of course, you have to have Woody and Buzz. So I want to take these out and assemble them. And of course, there's other stuff. I got other software animation related things that I'm gonna review. So the review Wednesdays are packed, packed. There's this guy that I never opened, the Neo Geo Mini. There's a lot of stuff about Metal Slug that I wanna talk about in terms of animation. It's gonna be awesome. So you know, I, I can go about, there's so many things lined up. I have so much to cover. So that is all coming in the upcoming weeks. On Wednesdays are my reviews. But well, let's leave it at that. If there's other stuff that you like on my channel, feel free to browse around. You know I do animation reviews and lectures and all kinds of stuff. So browse around the channel. If there's anything that you like, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button where I do upload almost every day. It's not weekends. As always, thank you for watching the whole thing till the very end. I appreciate your time. That's it from me. And I will say thank you. And I will see you in my next clip.